What's going on YouTube? This is Jim Fantasy, aka Viper Magic, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about Steam's new refund policy. Now this is actually a really, really big deal for a lot of different reasons. First and foremost, Steam has been notoriously horrible when it comes to customer service. I've probably told this story before, but I'll briefly tell it again. I bought a uh, some of the DLC for DT for DC uh, Universe Online, the MMO game, and I did not get my code for the DLC, yet Steam billed me. I wrote them an email. It took almost two and a half weeks before they responded and said, yeah, you should have the code in your email, which I didn't, by the way. And then another two weeks, so we're up to four weeks now, before they finally came around and said, oh, you're right, there was a glitch in our system, let us get you a new code. So a month went by where I did not have the content that I paid for. Now, was the money a big deal? No. Was the fact that I couldn't play with all the new Green Lantern abilities for a month a big deal? No. But the fact is that customer service is supposed to be about this guy, and it wasn't. So that's when my, that was one of my first interactions with Steam, and I realized how poorly the system was run in terms of getting in touch with somebody. You'll notice there's no way to even call a live person on the phone. Now, say what you want about Blizzard. They are slow, but there is a number you can call, and you can actually talk to a human being. Not all the chat programs, an actual human being, because a lot of times, a simple phone call is all it takes. So when Steam announced that they were going to be offering a refund service, the first thing I thought was great. We're finally getting in that direction of better customer service. Albeit it is a self-service, there is still an option for me to now re get a refund on games that suck. And let's face it, Steam has got a very big problem. They just distribute. Now, at one point I used to think it was Steam's responsibility to manage the content they have on their program and on their service and how people get greenlit and how people get in. And I felt like there should be some sort of Q&A process that happens, very similar to what PlayStation and Microsoft, and now Wii U actually as well, offer. But the reality is, is there are so many published games coming out, it's impossible for Steam to do that. So it really falls to the fan base to kind of police themselves. And unfortunately, the only way up until this refund service that I would know if it was a game was good or bad was going through YouTube and having some other sucker buy the game and be stuck with it before doing a video explaining how bad it is so I know to stay away. Now, with the refund service in place, I can buy with confidence on anything. The reality is I know what games I'm after. I am not a huge indie game guy, although I dabble in a few when they come to me via PlayStation Plus. The reality is I'm sticking to the main titles and I'm sticking to things that I have already expressed interest in. I don't do that early buy-in or anything like that. I don't do the alpha or the green lid or whatever they call it where you're buying into an idea. I want the full polished game and if it's a good game, I'll go ahead and buy it. Now, if I see a game that catches my eye, I can buy it and try it. It's almost like we're getting demos again, although in a very weird way. The difference is, obviously, money is involved, and you will get a full refund, although it will take some time. It could take up to, I believe, two weeks is what the uh, frequently asked questions was. But, hey, the fact is, if I see a game I want to try, I can try it with really no strings attached, Contingent that I don't play it for more than two hours and contingent that I uh, made my decision that I want to get a refund within 14 days. Short of that, Steam took it an additional step and said, you know what? If we have a sale that's within a certain amount of time, I believe that is also 14 days, you can actually refund your game regardless of how long you've played it and rebuy it at the lower price. Essentially, a money back guarantee and a price match kind of guarantee that we get to enjoy currently with all the big box stores. And a lot of times the big box stores actually do less percent. So they'll say, hey, we'll match the lowest price less 2% or something like that. Now they're not doing that at Steam and I'm okay with that, but I'll tell you that a lot of times I will not buy games unless it's during the Steam summer sale or the Steam winter sale because the truth of it is Games are so cheap then, I buy them in such bulk, I really don't need them. But now with other AAA titles starting to leak through, like Witcher 
and Batman and some of these other games that are going to be coming to us in the next couple of months may fall outside that window and it might be something that I'm really interested in. Now I can buy with confidence knowing that if it does go on sale in the next week or two, and trust me, Steam's got sales of sales. There's always something going on there. I can and I can get a refund and I think that is great. This is great for the customer. There's zero disadvantage to this. Now, people will say, well, how does Steam really benefit on this? And I mean, that's open to interpretation. I think that by this policy in place, Steam is going to make PC gaming even more accessible than it already is. I know that the Steam box idea is slowly trickling out. Every so often, I will see a Steam box at either Best Buy or Walmart or it'll pop up on the internet. I don't think that was the big takeoff model that they had hoped for in terms of, I don't think like it knocked PlayStation or Sony or even Nintendo, just to give you an idea of how low on the totem pole it is. I don't think it's knocked those uh, uh, platforms out of position. However, giving this policy is going to, there, there's no other policy like this right now. If you buy a game on Xbox, you're stuck with it. PlayStation, you're stuck with it. Wii U Store, you're stuck with it. So now, PC gaming is actually taking the forefront on this refund policy via Steam, and I think it's great. Now, I know that Origin has been doing this for a while, and for once, EA actually is going to get some praise. But let's face it, what the hell are you buying on Origin? Maybe Battlefield 4 if you're a little late to the party. That's really about it. There's not like Origin is screaming with new content. I can't even tell you the last time I logged into Origin, and I don't even know if they still do that on the house thing where they give you a game from 1943 for free because, you know, they love their customers. But don't get me started on EA. What I wanted to focus on was Valve, and I believe that this Steam policy is pointing PC gaming in the right direction. I have long said that the rise of the PC Master Race is slowly forthcoming. This is yet another step and another hurdle that PC gaming has overcome before anybody else has. So now, if you got a game that you're interested in, but you're not sure if your system specs quite run it, download it and if it works great you just got a kick-ass game and if it chugs like a son of a gun refund the damn thing and try again when you get a new card it is an amazing try before you buy policy i cannot endorse it enough as you guys know i'm slowly transitioning a lot of my gaming library onto pc because it is so easy to use now with steam and the uh, new RAM that I bought and the new graphics card I may or not, may not buy with E3 here, I'll talk about that another day, is forthcoming. So if you're not a fan of Steam and not a fan of PC gaming, I think this is a huge hurdle that they have overcome. And I think this should give everybody a little more comfort when clicking that buy button on something that may or may not be what you think it is. Thanks for watching. I want to hear from you guys. Leave comments below. Let me know what you guys think about the Steam thing. Is it cool? Is it lame? It's up to you. I want to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.